Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, I have brought you a very amazing exercise on AutoCAD and that is we are going to clear this amazing structure of Burj Khalifa in AutoCAD 3D. So let's just see how to create it. So here for that, I'm going to start my Google and you can see that I have Googled the Burj Khalifa section view and the figure, this basically a figure comes over here and you can see that the sections of the Burj Khalifa is something up three a petal like structure and we are going to create this petal like structure and with the help of arrays we are going to array it and create the model like this so we are not going to create the exact model but it will going to look like you can see that i have created it practically it will going to look like just like Burj khalifa so let's just see how to create this so for that i'm going to start a fresh page so i'm going to start a new page and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create that petal like section view. So the section view is like this. So we are going to create it. Let's just see. So for that, I'm going to create a circle first. Let's just create a circle. Let's just create it as a 30 diameter. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a center line. We can just create it using the normal line. And later on, we are going to basically use it for the center line so i'm going to start the object snap and this will be i think 130 you can just take any dimension i'm going to take a random dimension to create it uh, we are going to focus on the procedure so i'm going to take this as my one of the structure and like this i have created the pedal and i'm going to mirror it on the other side so just select the mirror tool just select this feature just select enter select from this point to this point and we have mirrored it to create a single feature now i'm going to delete uh, this over here and i'm going to pattern it i'm going to select the polar array and i'm going to select this entity and this entity press enter and select the center point and i'm going to select three as my structure so three instances we are going to create Just cross it and now I'm going to explode it. So because since we have to trim out this internal part, so you can see that uh, since this is created over here in the association, so I have to break this association. So for the, that, I'm going to use explode for that. Just select this object, just make it enter. Now it has been basically exploded to a single entities. Select the trim command, select the inside portions like this over here. Trim out these portions over here and we have got one feature ready. Now I'm going to join them. I'm going to join them into a single structure. So you can see that now I have pressed the join uh, J enter to make it join. And you can see that it has been joined to a single entity. Now just create the copy and I'm going to create using the copy tool. Select this, select this part, copy it. I'm going to create multiple copies. Let's just say that I'm going to create three, uh, three copies will be better. And I'm going to use this sections only and I'm going to extrude one section and on the, uh, on, on one of the extrusion, let's say that we have created one section of extrusions and on the other section, uh, on the top of this extrusion, I'm going to just make this feature small and I'm going to extrude it uh, to the other height. Then this feature, we are going to make it another one like this. So this is how we are going to create the steps. So if this is the scale of one, then I'm going to make this scale as 0 0.75. Similarly, I'm going to make this scale as 0 0.25. And similarly, this you can just make it as zero or this uh, extra feature that we are going to use later on. So let's just see. So I'm going to select the scale command. I'm going to select this object, select the scale, select this object, press enter select this point and just make this as 0 0.75 okay so i have made it 0.75 again i'm going to select the scale select it press enter select this point 0 0.75 you can see that the scale factor is 0 0.75 and again i'm going to make this one as sorry this is 0 0.50 we are going to have the separations of 0 point sorry 0 0.25 Select the scale command, select this object, just make 0 0.50 as a scale factor. 
it becomes a little bit more small i need one more copy later on so i'm going to make this as two copies later let's say and this one i'm going to make as 0 0.25 the scale factor is 0 0.25 select the object select the center point make it as 0 0.25 so you can see that we have got the sections this is if it is 1 if that section is 1 then this is 0 0.75 25 less than 1 and again 25 less than 75 so it is become 0 0.50 and this becomes 0 0.25 so this is how we have got all the sections now I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to change the view. Press the shift button, hold the scroll button. Let's change the view. Switch off this grid mode. Select the extrude command. Select this feature. Just press enter. And what will be its extrusion value? Let's just make it as 20. So I have already created those uh, this thing. So I have already figured it out what will be its extrusion values and all. You can have any value and you can just test it how it will going to look like. So you can see that in the realistic view, it is looking like something this. Now from this point, I'm going to create a line of 300 mm. This way I'm going to use the path array. So this will be the path and this will be the object. So just select the path array now and just select the object as this one. Just make it enter. And for the path, I'm going to select this one. Just decrease the distance. I'm going to make it 25 and you can see that once I have made it 25, it will going to create 13 instances automatically. I have left some space in between to make it more realistic like structure. So you can just add up the glasses in between. So that it basically it depicts the floor. If I'm going to make it, if I'm not going to provide this distance, it will going to create a solid like object. So I have made it to look like it should have floors. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take the move command. I'm going to move this structure from the center and I'm going to place it on its top like this. So you can see that just take the move and it will going to snap some points. Just snap the middle point. It will going to place it on the top. Now the same procedure we have to follow. I'm going to select the extrude. I'm going to select this over here. Just make it enter. Just provide the value as 20. And again, I'm going to take a line. I'm going to create a 300 of line like this. Select the path array again. Select this feature. Just make it enter. Path as this one. And just make the distance between them is 25. You can see that if I'm going to increase, it decrease the distance of 20. You can see that it will going to in create a feature like this that will going to look like a solid model so if i have to create this one then i can use directly extrude so i'm going to make the this separation of 25 you can see that a uh, structure will going to create like this just close it and again the same th procedure for this one so i'm going to move this one again select this point and i'm going to place again it on the top so like this Again, just extrude it. So this, we are going to repeat this procedure again and again. Like this. Again, 20. Again, create a line on this point. Create it till the height of 300. And again, just create the path array. Select this object. Select enter. Select the path. Just make this distance as 25. Repeating the same. Again, I have to repeat the same for this smaller structure. So I'm going to select this one and I have to just move it again, taking this part as a center and I'm going to move it on the top. So I have to just place it on the top again. Just select the extrude, select this one, just press enter. Just select this one just again 20 again we have to create a line to 300 and just extrude create a polar array again sorry path array select this path and what will be its value again 25 
so i think we have created it till the height you can just decrease this height if you want let's just decrease it so i'm going to select this line and i'm going to decrease the height a bit so that it looks something good like this you can see that and on the top we can just create a circle that will going to act as a basically you can say that a pole like structure that is on the top of the Burj Khalifa okay so just switch off the snap it is snapping some of the points just extrude it simple extrusion nothing else to depict this pole like structure and now it's time for the base so we have to create the base as well so for the base i am again going to use this part and i'm going to scale it and this time i'm not going to decrease the scale i'm going to increase the scale to two times and this will going to act as our base so i'm going to just place it let's just try to place it in the bottom just select our bottom view that will be better and now just select the move command select it and try to move it in this position so i have moved it and you get okay so it has been on the top so we have to just move it again okay so move it like this select the move so just try to place it again yes it has been placed just extrude it i'm going to extrude this part again so extrude it till certain height let's just extrude it like this so you can see that we have created this structure we have created the structure of Burj Khalifa and this is how it will going to look like so I hope that you have understand how to create it if you find out any kind of doubt you can just contact me you can just ask me on the comment section and I can just figure it out and I will going to help you just figuring it out and if you want a full course on AutoCAD then you can just visit our Udemy page we can you can just visit our autocad academy course a comprehensive course on autocad and this is the full course on autocad and i have i will going to provide you a coupon link in the description you can just use it and you can just get this course on the low price and you can see that this is the complete course on autocad and this contains all the necessary topics that will going to help you in learning autocad uh, it's not matter that which branch you are in you whether you are in as architectural whether you are in a civil or a mechanical it, it does not matter you can see that it contains over 17 different kinds of section with 144 lectures and around 20 hours of course is there we are also upgrading it so you will get more videos and this contains some of the very interesting topics and important topics as well like what should be the what is the block what is insert tab what are the parametric features so you can just take it this course is for both 2d and 3d so you will get a complete package of autocad and i hope that you have liked this video if you have liked it please subscribe it and share it with your friends that's all for this lecture and i'm going to catch up you in the next new video with new project